Welcome, Zerner. Let's get started with a word problem. Two students equally share 12 carrots. How many carrots does each student get? Read the problem and imagine what's happening. How many carrots are the two students sharing? What do we need to solve for? We need to solve for how many carrots each student gets. We can use this tape diagram to help us solve. There are 12 carrots in total. We need to share the carrots equally between two students. I'll represent two students by splitting the tape diagram into two groups or units. We know that two students are sharing all 12 carrots, so I'll pass out the carrots one at a time to each student to make sure they're shared equally. I've shared 12 equally between two groups. Your turn. Share 12 carrots equally between two students. The problem is asking us for the number of carrots in each group. That's the size of each group. Label the unknown here with a question mark. Go ahead. I'll label the unknown with a question mark. All the information from the word problem is labeled on our tape diagram. We know the total is 12 carats, and they are being shared between two students. We don't yet know how many carats each student gets, so that's our unknown. Choose a division sentence that represents our tape diagram. Two students equally share 12 carats. How many carats Which division each sentence get? represents our tape diagram? Twelve divided by two equals our unknown. We have twelve total carrots shared between two students, and we're solving for the number of carrots each student gets. Let's use our tape diagram and division number sentence to solve. How many carrots does each student get? There are six carrots in each unit, so 12 divided by 2 equals 6. Each student gets six carrots. Let's change this problem up. There are still 12 carrots, but now each student gets two carrots. How many students get carrots? Reread the problem and imagine what's happening. Reread the problem and imagine what is happening. How many carrots are being shared? There are still 12 total carrots, but this time, each student gets two carrots. We need to figure out the number of students who get carrots. What does two represent in this problem? The number of groups, or the size of each group? Each student gets two carrots. That's the size of each group. 
Since we don't know the number of groups, we can draw a tape diagram like this. One unit, two carrots. We need to figure out the number of students. Label the unknown with the question. distribute two carrots to students until I get 12. This student gets two. That's two carrots given out. I'll give another two to this student. Now I've given out four carrots. I'll keep going until I've given out 12 carrots. Six, eight, ten, twelve. Each student got two carrots. Now, all the information from the word problem is labeled on our tape diagram. Write a division sentence that represents this problem using our tape diagram. Let's solve for the unknown. How many students get carrots? There are six groups in our tape diagram, so 12 divided by 2 equals 6. Six students get carrots. Did you notice something about our two problems? The division sentences for these tape diagrams are the same, but the tape diagrams are different. The 2 and 6 represent different things in each problem, so they are represented differently in each tape diagram, either as units or the size of the unit. When we divide, we usually know the total number of objects. We divide either to find the size of the groups, like in the first problem, or the number of groups, like in the second problem. Let's solve another problem. Read the problem and imagine what's happening. There are 10 chapters in Hannah's library book. She reads two chapters each day. How many days will it take for Hannah to finish her book? Hannah's book has 10 chapters, and she reads two chapters each day. We need to solve for how many days it will take her to finish her book. Which tape diagram represents this problem? This tape diagram shows that there are two chapters in each group, and the number of groups is unknown. Let's continue solving in our notes. We're working on Mission 1, Lesson 12. We know the total. That's 10 total chapters in the book. And the size of each group, the two chapters Hannah reads each day. Update your tape diagram with these labels. Go ahead. Our unknown is the number of groups, or how many days she takes to finish her book. Label our unknown number of days with a question mark here. Our tape diagram is labeled, and now we can solve for the unknown. I'll keep adding units of two chapters to my tape diagram until I reach a total of 10 chapters to find the number of groups.
I already have two chapters for the first day. I'll draw another group of two. That's four chapters. And another. That's six chapters. Keep going. Find the number of groups by drawing more units of two until you reach the total of 10 chapters. There are 10 chapters in total, and Hannah reads two chapters each day. We need five units of two in our tape diagram to reach 10 chapters total. Check your work. Make sure your tape diagram matches mine. Now, write a division sentence that represents our tape diagram. We know there are 10 chapters in total and two in each unit. That's 10 divided by two. Check your work. How many days did it take Hannah to read her book? Write your answer in the equation and the answer sentence. Use the tape diagram to help you solve. It takes Hannah five days to read her book. Nice work. We knew the total and the size of each group and used a tape diagram to solve for the number of groups. Check your work. Nice job using tape diagrams to solve division problems, Zerner. Keep it up in the Tower of Power.